Now, your weather forecast with meteorologist Brandon Lashbrook. Well, after a warm day today, we finally have some rain showers and a few storms popping up right now. You see our live tower cam outside the station here coming down pretty hard over portions of Baton Rouge and East Baton Rouge Parish. Here's a live look at the current live by radar. You see one big storm complex moving down to the south near Homa, moving toward the coast regions. But more locally, notice we have a few storms popping up on this outflow boundary that's moved off to the north and northwest. So Baton Rouge along the I-10 corridor, even St. Helena Parish as well, and of course portions of some near Donaldsonville too, seeing some storms pop up and these will begin to die down and weekend past sunset or so. But all this is along a cold front. This frontal boundary is going to push through our area and these storms may produce some heavy rainfall, maybe some gusty winds here and there. But again, we'll eventually clear out towards tonight with our overnight lows into about the upper 60s near 70 degrees, a touch cooler than compared to last night. Thanks to northerly winds tomorrow as our highs will be a touch cooler as well into about the mid 80s. Notice our wind speed, however, from the north, around 10 to 15 miles per hour, thanks to the outer periphery of Hurricane Helene, we'll get some breezy winds tomorrow and some sunshine as well. But those winds, again, will be kind of breezy throughout most of the day for Friday. But it's that north wind that's going to bring some cooler and some drier air in place. So by Friday morning, our lows will be rather nice into the lower to mid 60s, waking up in the morning hours and then throughout the afternoon for Friday, a touch cooler as well into about, about the lower to mid 80s. So really nice, almost seasonable fall all day for our Friday with plenty of sunshine to go around as well as we dry out past today heading toward the weekend. So in the tropics, we have Hurricane Helene right now has 85 miles per hour max same winds. It will be moving off to the north and northeast and the Gulf of Mexico strengthening quickly to a category four storm by tomorrow afternoon, making a landfall in near the Big Bend region of Florida by tomorrow evening. It will be a rather large storm to impact do spread across all of Florida into Georgia and even to South Carolina with course winds, rain, heavy rainfall and a tornado threat as well and some storm surge along the coast here in Louisiana. No direct impact from this system, but indirectly we get those breezier winds tomorrow and some of the drier air working on the western side of this storm. So through this evening, though, the rain will begin to clear out past sunset. Cold front moves through the area. So tomorrow we're more so on the drier side with that northerly winds. Here's Helene making its way northward toward Florida. You see where we are, that northerly dry air moving in clear skies for Thursday and into Friday as Helene makes its way more inland toward Tennessee or so. And we've remain dry as you head toward this weekend with nice conditions with highs as well. Pretty seasonable into to about the mid to upper 80s even into next work week as well. We'll see sunshine for the week and highs into the upper 80s near 90 degrees.